Whoa, oh, 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 hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, just looking. Not like I was planning to make a video or anything like that. Yeah, unless uh, you hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know in the comment section if that's something you're interested in. Finally, we'll have a night test so that you can see in the night how both roads do. This video and all the equipment used has been sponsored by MadMixTube.com, a creative free space for you to upload your content today. Yep, I took some of it off. The rain literally has been pouring for the last three, you could say four days, three going on four days. The rain took a break, according to Google, I decided, hey, let me leave the house, bring these two drones out and get this night footage done. Because at the end of the day, whether you go with the Zoom or you go with the Pro, basically, in my opinion, I've been saying this from day one, boils down to these kind of situations. Low light. This is what it's all about, low light. And I'm so anxious to test these two drones and see how they do in the low light. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get these drones up. Just in case you didn't know, these two fabulous drones were sponsored by MadMixTube.com and Autonomous Drone Services. So I'm going to leave the link below to both websites. Go check them out, please, and support my content. Also, MadMixTube.com is a great place just to go and browse and watch videos. They've got lots of cool content there, including, oh yeah, mine too. There is clearly, I mean clearly. Clearly, there's a lot. There's a lot of detail in the build in the buildings. There's a lot of detail in the bridges, in the background. Everything. There's just so much detail. If you look at the zooms footage, it's a lot darker because it just just doesn't have that dynamic range, and as a result, you lose a lot of detail. I feel like the camera on the zoom is just bumping the ISO up like crazy and because the sensor is so small it starts to get really noisy like really noisy like you can see these white pixelated dots on top of it and flying in auto for the DJI Mavic 2 zoom is just a disaster I'm hoping that manual will give a lot better results if you cannot see the difference between these two footages between the zoom and the pro well then you might as well go get yourself a DJI Mavic 2 zoom because the zoom I've been saying this for a while can zoom and the pro cannot but guys I think anyone even the most basic person even my wife was leaning over my shoulder one night and she was like wow she was like which drone is that it is so crispy clear and then when I switched over to the zoom footage she was like nah. and that's not even the trained eye that's just the average person who's just looking at videos and saying what they like and what they don't like so I don't care who you are like the difference here is astronomical and let, let's see if there'll be any kind of major differences if we switch this over to manual now just a heads up guys for manual I put the drones in auto 
and then switched it to manual and kind of kept the same settings. I felt like both drones were sharp enough, so I didn't want to mess with the sharpness of the drones. But what I did do, guys, I dropped the frame rate from 30 frames a second to 24 frames a second. And that's just because when you drop the frame rate, the image actually becomes lighter. When you increase the frame rate, the image actually gets darker. So I wanted to get the image as light as possible, hoping to capture more details and, of course, fly a little slower so that way I don't fly too fast and it starts skipping frames and looking like well trash so here we go let's put it in manual and see if there's any difference Autonomous Drone Services is not only your place for all your aerial photography and videography needs, but they're also going to be holding classes next spring, early summer. It's going to be a drone camp, actually, guys. And what that means is they're actually going to be picking up uh, kids and adults if you're interested as well. You might want to enroll your kids because you, they can learn the latest and the greatest from all the new tech that's out there today and even the autonomous drones that are on the market today. So if you want your kids to start learning about tech and drone technology, definitely think about enrolling them in AutonomousDroneServices.com. I know what you're thinking. Why is the Zoom's image still looking so flaky flaky with all of those uh, white freckles on it? And that's because I literally could not lower the ISO from 3200. I lowered it from 3200, the next step below is 1600. And I just couldn't see where I was going. It got so dark that I just couldn't see where I was going. I did not want to crash this drone. And as a result, I had to bump the ISO back up to 3200. Now as goes for the Mavic 2 Pro, I was able to bring the ISO down to 800. Yes, the footage you just watched was actually ISO 800, which is really, really low for night shots. And as you can see, it was dark. It was a little dark, but you still got details. It was still a little sharp. I actually prefer, prefer it in auto with a little bit of green in the sky. Don't mind the green because it highlights the ground so well, the colors pop so well, and the lights show so crystal clear that it doesn't even bother me. I was goes for the zoom. I did all I could and as a result, there's just no substitute for a one inch sensor. The half inch sensor is just not good for shots like this. If you're around something that's really bright, I'm sure the zoom would do a phenomenal job because there's lots of light even in the night. But when you're just flying, capturing buildings and stuff like that, I mean the difference is, is really big time. And if you want to see where you're going, you're going to have to bump up that ISO on that zoom. Hope this video was, uh, was helpful to you. I hope this helped you make some kind of decision, if not some kind of distinction between the quality between night footage, between the zoom and the pro. Next up is going to be Mavic 2 Pro versus the Phantom 4 Pro. So I'm really looking forward to that one and guys, I've already started filming and whoa, I'm going to cover my mouth because I don't even want to see. 
what I've discovered so far. Guys, keep it locked right here. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell button so you can get notified when I release this next video. So if you're not a patron, head over to my Patreon account. All it takes is $1 and you get a chance to win six of these DJI Mavic 2 Pros. Yes, six guys. All I need to do is hit my Patreon threshold and that's it. I'll go right to the DJI store or order it online and ship it straight out to you. Won't even open the box brand spanking new. Guys, don't waste time. Just go and become a patron. It's $1 and it supports my content so I can deliver more videos to you and you benefit in return. It's a no-brainer. And last but not least, please head over to my sponsors and give them a shout out. Give them some support. Join if you can. It really helps to keep my content going so I can deliver this information to you guys.